In the last several days, much attention in the world of volcanology has been on the erupting Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii. However, on the one-year anniversary of a destructive eruption at the Semeru volcano in Indonesia, another damaging eruption occurred. On December 4th of 2022, Semeru began producing a series of unusually long-traveling pyroclastic flows which rapidly swept down its flanks at a speed of more than 150 kilometers per hour, going on to travel up to 7.5 kilometers away from its summit. However, as the minutes progressed, the size of explosions and lengths of pyroclastic flows continued to increase until a record-setting eruption occurred. At about 11 a.m. local time, a continuous subplanian eruption occurred, sending a plume of ash high into the atmosphere. Part of the lava dome subsequently collapsed, releasing a pyroclastic flow which swept down a riverbed, destroying many structures adjacent to it. As the pyroclastic flow made a slight turn at a distance of 12 kilometers away, a camera which recorded the whole sequence was destroyed. Then, two hours later, an even more energetic pyroclastic flow passed the same spot, going on a travel up to 18.7 kilometers, or 11.6 miles away from Semeru's summit, marking its longest pyroclastic density current on record. The aftermath of this flow showed a destroyed and scorched landscape where it touched, and in some areas more than one meter or three feet thick of still steaming pyroclastic material was deposited on the ground. As the eruption plume drifted away from the volcano to the west, it caused ash to rain down over a wide area. What had just occurred was an unusually large volcanian and perhaps subplanian eruption of the Semeru volcano, which was nearly identical to its destructive eruption exactly one year ago. However, although the 2021 eruption caused a number of casualties, this eruption has so far not caused any, although this fact is still uncertain. Whereas the 2021 eruption occurred without much warning, the latest eruption occurred after a series of increasingly voluminous flows, which when combined with the fact that many at-risk areas were completely or near completely evacuated, may have led to no casualties occurring. Due to the fact that an eruption is ongoing, Semru's alert level was raised to its highest level, aka from a 3 to a 4, and an extended evacuation radius was implemented. This exclusion zone encompassed an area around the entire volcano to a distance of 8 kilometers from Semeru's summit, in addition to a distance of 19 kilometers along a prominent drainage to the southeast and within 500 meters of it. I had reported on early warning signs of a near-future explosive eruption at this volcano all the way back on October 30th. Although Semeru was already erupting at the time, it underwent a period of rapid uplift indicating the influx of a new and large batch of magma. Over a span of several days, the volcano was pushed upwards by a rate of approximately 2 centimeters or 4 fifths of an inch each day. Then, for a period of more than 30 hours straight, sensors recorded a continuous harmonic tremor, which is generally caused by the rapid movement of magma and volcanic gases, often preceding a volcanic eruption. At the time, I specifically predicted that an explosive eruption which was larger than Semeru's December 4th, 2021 eruption would occur, and this is exactly what happened. Although the aforementioned tremor and uplift would eventually pause, it went on to reappear around 12 days ago. As pressure built up underneath Semeru's active lava dome, it soon reached an overpressure situation. This caused the overlying rock to fracture and then partially collapse, generating the eruption which just occurred. I want to remind everyone who lives near Semeru that its eruption is still not over. More long-traveling pyroclastic flows could occur with little or no warning, so please stay away from the volcano. Thanks for watching, and please stay safe. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on this channel's Patreon page.